doing beer shopping. Mmm, quite expensive. Yeah, well, anyway, fuck it, it's my birthday. Not next week, week after. So, anyway, before I do anything, I need a beer. I don't need a beer, but you know. You know. Can't be done without a beer. But there we go. Um, quite an old one, this. It's my black IPA. It's a bit heavy in the body, it's almost like a stout. But anyway, without the oats. Uh, I've got this one, ooh, must be three, four months. Hopefully, it won't go like me. Sorry, I chased it the last day. Whee! Everywhere. So, yeah, I'll keep you suspense what I bought. Yeah. Hey, going everywhere, look, dripping off the glass. She is going lively. Yeah, oh, she's lively. She dragged up some shit too. Oh, shit, loads of yeast. Ah, that'll stop there. Quite a bit left in the bottle. Oh, chunky floaters and everything. That's a good one. Right, here we go. I'll set that there a second. Hang on a minute. Just want to clean up. Ah. Oh, Christ. Where am I at? It. Yeah, mess on the floor. And all of my feet. Right. Why do I hear, uh, hear water dripping somewhere? I'm not hearing things, but anyway. Might need to sit a bit, degas. A bit too gassy. Quite surprisingly, it still kept its hop flavour. It was quite pronounced at the start. Almost more stouty than uh, black IPA. But I'll have to revisit and go back off on the black malts. But uh, yeah, anyway. Right. To the point of making this video. Beer run. Yes, yes. Right. I'm just going to flip you around and show you what I got, then we'll go through some of it. And we'll go from there. Play it by ear. Way. As you can see, we got one of them. The old Rosby Frambois. Nice tipple. Uh, I do like it. Miss it more for the missus. She'll probably end up drinking most of that. And then my favourite. I think this one's 12.6. Kentucky Bourbon Stout, matured in oak barrels. And another Lambic, Belgium. Looks like Blackberry, not Blackberry. Black Currant. And we have a local brewery, Donegal Brewing Company. Their Rye APA. I do like their, I do like a Rye. Um, Cup of colour brew with spicy rye malts and amarillo hops. Oh, that should be good. That should be very good. I do like amarillo. Oh, with some citra in it. Another local one. Brewed in the county I live in, Donegal. Uh, I've had two of his beers before, but I noticed he has a couple of new ones out. Uh, bog Hopper. As in, Bog the Turf, not Bog the Toilet. Uh, this one's called Cold Turkey. Cold Blash. Cool. Uh, whatever. Brewed with another brewery, Yellow Belly, down in Wexford. I'm not, I don't think it's that Yellow Belly in the paper bag. It's a brown ale. Yeah, Delirium Red, Mrs. Beer. Another favourite of mine, the tra Trappist Quadruple. And this one she got for me for my birthday, Brooklyn Beer. Uh, K is for Crake, I think you call it. Brew with honey, dark candy syrup, orange peel, aged in bourbon barrels on whole cherries. That should be interesting. So, so I don't know if you've ever had that. I'm glad she bought it because there wasn't much change in the 25 quid. Sorry, euro. So, yeah, okay. And then another one from Bog Copper, the Horny Ram. These other two main beers is uh, Dirty Chick and Harry Bullocks, as in cows. Um, brewed 
here in Donegal as well. Oh. And we have Beaver Town, Sour Cherry and Sea Salt Imperial Stout. That should be interesting. Don't know if anybody's had that before. 9.8%. Ooh. That's a sipper. That's not a chug. And then we hit some brew dogs. And we've got the fruit bat. Something pulp. It's brewed by them. Um, with a rye hammer, another rye. And then this bugger here. Vietnamese coffee edition. Black eyed king imp. Yes. Right. Ouch. That's all I can say for that. 12. Yes, 12 euros, I said. Bless me, birthday, I don't care. Uh, tasty juice from Led Lervik. Lervig, Norwegian beer, so that'd be Tony's neck of the woods, I think, possibly, I'm sure he's had that. Another Irish beer, I'm looking for this one for ages, spicy, it's a chili berry, uh, chili, chili cherry sour, say that when you're pissed, uh, that should be an interesting one for me, one for the missus, heard about these, I actually managed to find one, death by coconut, so happy days. So, I'm sitting there and I didn't have any uh, little bastards to go with the thieving bastards. <laughs> this is brewed in Sligo, next county down from us. Uh, don't know anything about the brewery, we'll have to look it up. Uh, thieving bastards, you can see that. So, it should be interesting. Loch Gill Brewery. So oh, it should be interesting, be interesting to see what it tastes like. One is it? Pale ale. And then a big one from uh, Galway Bay. Obviously from Galway. Couldn't get this last year. Sold out really quick. Uh, it's Galway Bay's 200 Fathoms. Uh, stout, I think. Aged in teal and whiskey casks. Uh, yeah, uh, barrels. Uh, yeah, it's a barrel aged Imperial Stout. 10% cracking beer so I've got two of them this time at nine quid a bottle which I thought isn't too bad actually could be more so yeah as you can guess you know, these were about four four something ish four five four 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 twelve uh, yeah you get it so nice little selection Cracking beers. Now I'm not all going to drink them on the same day. Don't be stupid. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be tucking into these next weekend. Probably have, might have this one tonight. <laughs> but I've got. But anyway, right back in a minute. Right back. As you can see, big selection of beers. Some good ones, some favourites, and a lot of new ones. Um, yeah, so I think I might be pissed for a few days. Do you think? Anyway, um, this one might appear out of rotation. So you might see a couple of videos. Get a bit, timeline might get a bit screwed with, but hey. Anyway, uh, what am I at now? bit too fizzy. So, didn't brew last week. Keg the not Sierra Nevada Pale Ale because I didn't have the correct ingredients. But it tastes pretty close all the same. Um, New England Pale Ale IPA even will be bottled tomorrow. And somehow I'm going to try and do a double brew day tomorrow. So I'm doing two, two different beers in the one day. Ooh. So on the early start, so I'm going to have to go easy on the sauce tonight. Uh, uh, coconut IPA. I was going to do Pilsner's, but I changed my mind. Uh, I haven't done coconut IPA in a long time. So that's going to get revisited with double the amount of coconut Last time I just used 200 grams in the boil, 200 grams for dry hop, 
So you can guess what's happened here. Yeah. 400 grams in the boil, 400 grams in the dry hop. So I'm going to have to brew that quite a larger, well, I can't really do a larger, but 28 litres, so 27, to allow you for soakage, for hoppage, and coconutage, even. Yeah, <coughs> so, yeah, that's the plan. What I'm going to brew after that. So while that's on the boiling, that one's going to be mashing. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. So it doesn't matter if that mash is longer. Yes. Or I might just, if it, oh, the weather's good. cracking yesterday, the weather was 25 degrees today, as you can hear, it's pissing in the rain. Uh, and it's the same tomorrow and possibly Monday, so I may or may not do a double brew. See what the head's like in the morning. Depending on what time I start, uh, is what I'll definitely coconut tomorrow. What I'll brew on s after that. Good question. I'll have to think about that one. Uh, something I haven't done in a while. Yes. Yeah, gone blank. Right. So, I think that's it for this week. Um, put these beers in the fridge. Hopefully there's not too many of them bottles left because if it's starting to go fizzy like that now at the moment it's going to be all over the place. Especially the Sariachi Ace. Ooh, that was ten times worse. So, big banana, you've been warned. I'll see ya, bye.